Hey my friends, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and in this week's Tableau video, I wanna cover with you how can you take a field like a US state or a country and then just turn it into an abbreviation to be able to save some space. Um, so first of all, let me just show you a use case where I needed this. Uh, I'm working on another video right now, another concept where um, you could take something like the 50 US states, and instead of having to have like a single bar chart that's 50 bars tall, you could split it into five columns of 10, and it just didn't really make sense to have the state names listed all the way out because they were pretty uh, like spatially consuming. Um, so whether it was like needing a text table or a bar chart, I just wanted to get the state abbreviations in there. Um, now I do have highlights. So if somebody wanted to be able to say like, where's Texas? You know, they could still spell out the full state. So just in case somebody's not super familiar with like, oh, Arkansas, is that AR or AK? Like they could still sort it out with that highlighter. Um, so I'll drop a link to the video about this concept, about splitting, uh, you know, like 50 states into five columns. I'll drop a link to that below in the description. So if you want to check that out, you can. Uh, but I just want to briefly talk about how do you do this in Tableau? Like how do you take a state, a full state name and turn it into an abbreviation or same thing for countries? Um, so I've actually just kind of done some groundwork and basically wrote the calculations for you. So I'm gonna make your life easy. Uh, I'll put a link to this Tableau workbook, which I'm showing you now. I'll put that in the description so you can download this. I'll also link out to a blog post where it just lists out all of the uh, calculations. So you could also just copy and paste those. Um, so first of all, I have original fields, like in my data set, I have a column called state name and a column called state abbreviation. And then I've actually got calculations that go both ways. So if I show you my state abbreviation calc, right, it's basically just a huge case statement that says, you know, when the state is Louisiana, then replace that with LA. Or vice versa, um, state name calc would just do the inverse of that. So probably less likely, but if you have abbreviations and you want full names, then you can just use this calc to, to swap those. Um, so we've got the same thing going for country. Um, so let me flip over to that to show you that. Um, and in the meantime, if you check out this info button in the upper corner here, you'll see that we have multiple classes that we teach about Tableau every month. Um, topics like this, calculated fields, the basics of visuals, advanced calculations, Tableau prep, you name it. Um, so feel free to check that out. We would love to have you join for one of those. Um, so just to show you the countries, right? If I dive into there, same idea, um, win Afghanistan, then AFG, etc. There's a lot of like territories in here as well. This is just like some super comprehensive list I found online. Um, so that should work both ways. Now I will say that you'll just want to be careful and test this against your data. Um, you know, make sure that the value that you translated worked the way that you wanted to, because there's just a lot of like slight minor variations, right? Maybe in your data set, it's called the Bahamas, not Bahamas. Um, so you need to make some brief updates uh, to the calculations based on what your values say. Uh, so let me know if this is helpful. I was thinking about doing this for some other geographic fields as well. Um, I was thinking about airports. Um, I was thinking about cities, but I decided to hold off for now because I figured states and countries would probably be the biggest use case for this. Um, but if you have any others that you think of where you're like, oh, this would actually be super handy to have this for this other geographic field as well, um, let me know and I'd be happy to, uh, to look into building this for that as well. Um, so thank you so much for following along. I hope this help is helpful for you. Like I said, I'll drop links below where you can uh, access all the kind of code and workbook and all that. So you can just copy and paste and save yourself some effort. So uh, cool. Thank you so much for checking this out. We look forward to catching you on another video here soon.